All right, guys, so they're two day pass. I'm joining the dual carriageway, and a lot of people will brick it here. What does that mean? They will make a brown pants moment, they will get very nervous. Okay, so uh, I'm following the signs. So, this is the Rainers Lane route, but also following the signs now to central London. The speed limit here is 50. Now, a lot of reason, a lot of time, reason for people to fail here is because they don't get up to speed. If you're trying to move into this middle lane, which is following the sign to central London A40, which I mentioned earlier, and you don't have the speed, it's very difficult to move in. You need speed, you need to be in the same flow of the traffic to join another lane or join the dual carriageway. Notice the speed limit here changes, so I must make sure that I reach that speed limit when I reach that sign, which is 40 miles an hour. So there's a lot going on there, guys. You've got to do your mirror checks effectively. What have we got? Junctions, turning right, we've done that. We're on number three now, control, steering. Pretty much what just happened there. Come back to that in a second. So you've got to have your speed going, you've got to have your mirror checks going, the signal on if you feel it's necessary, if it benefits other road users. And then you've got to make sure you're up to speed. All of this at the same time, 50 miles an hour, moving into the center lane, making sure you do that safely. Make sure no one's on the far right lane moving into the center lane at the same time. Then you've got to adjust your speed when you reach a 40 mile an hour sign. Luckily for me, I've got this nice little ding dong noise, which you're probably wondering what that was throughout the video. That makes me aware of my speed. So there's a few nice features on this car. Earlier we talked about moving back to the left lane when this new left lane becomes available this is another super big reason why people will fail this route and fail at Greenford in general not just Greenford any other driving test center and this was number nine response to signs road markings uh, when we talked about bus lanes and not using the bus lane when you can so you got a road marking there you might avoid it because it's a big white solid line but maybe you might be able to use it but more commonly this would go down to position normal driving if you don't move back into the left lane when you can and it's safe and it's necessary to use the left lane then you will fail for position normal driving now we're on to number three. So I uh, just wanted to cover all of this, okay? Uh, there's other videos which I've made about Greenford and I've done the five most difficult junctions. So check out the channel playlist, you'll find the five most difficult junctions at Greenford. We just passed one of them here, super difficult. Now number three, control steering. Now, say for example on this long straight road, I wasn't controlling the vehicle and I kept veering towards the curb. This is most likely the reason why people will fail uh, for controlled steering and hit the curb. Maybe uh, getting too close to parked cars is another reason, okay? So I'm going to keep going straight actually. Normally you would exit here on the left, come to Greenford Roundabout, turn left, take it back to the test centre. But there's a longer way down here which gives me more time to talk. But also it's a very uh, difficult junction to exit. So I just want to show that because it's not on any of the other videos the videos that have been made about Greenford. Okay, so back to steering. Uh, what else is another good reason for steering? So if you get too close to the curb, you keep veering left, maybe you keep veering right and out into the oncoming traffic. This is another, so you're keeping too far away from parked cars. Uh, this is another reason, so maybe I'm keeping too far away from the curb here, or the left entry lane here, and I'm straddling the right lane. This could all be down to steering and controlling. We're not keeping this. There are different reasons for these categories. It all depends on what the examiners feel are necessary. If you're not too sure, if you look up the uh, explanations for control steering, I'll leave a link in the description, uh, then you'll be able to see the definition that the DVSA give to all of their driver faults. Okay, so lane discipline, maybe it could be marked as lane discipline, not keeping the lane, especially on a road like this, it would be lane discipline. Uh, getting too close to the curb, yes, this is probably more control steering. However, you uh, might be marked down for clearance, clearance to obstructions. This would mean that you're getting too close to parked cars generally. Okay, uh, so steering and coming too close to the curb, this is most likely control steering. Okay, we're gonna move on to number two. So, why don't you go check out number two over here. Click the, click the link, click the cards, click the, the suggested video, and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.